Today, our topic is remand versus rebuilds for your components. If you think these terms are interchangeable, you're not alone. This is a very common misconception and one that some competitors use to try to confuse customers. To clear this up, we've got one of our experts, Alan, standing by to help crush this myth once and for all. I'm definitely wearing my myth-crushing shoes today, Zach, so I'm ready. At Caterpillar, remanufacturing isn't rebuilding, recycling, refurbishing, reconditioning, repairing, overhauling, or downcycling. It's better. In a manufacturing environment, all parts are disassembled to their smallest parts, losing their original identity. Parts are cleaned to remove debris, many at a microscopic level. Everything is inspected for imperfections and cracks. State-of-the-art technology is used to salvage otherwise scrap parts. They are assembled into parts and components with all engineering updates. Lastly, they are tested to the same standard as new cat parts. That means returning many end-of-service life products back to their original equipment manufacturer or OEM performance specs. When that component leaves our factory, Zach, the quality is just as good as a new component and it is backed by the same Caterpillar parts warranty. Wow, that's good to know, Alan. Now, what about rebuilds? To rebuild is to recondition a component by cleaning, inspecting, and replacing only worn or broken parts. Serviceable parts are reused if they fit within the manufacturer's reuse and salvage guidelines. Now, a CAT certified rebuild by your dealership is a beautiful thing and often uses CAT reman components as part of the rebuild. However, we're talking about rebuilds by folks not at a CAT dealership that try to pass themselves off as reman when it's not the case. Caterpillar designs components to wear as a system. After rebuilding by a third party, some of the parts could be new, some could be from a different used unit, some may be from a non-OEM supplier, and some of the parts could be original. The thing to remember is that the used parts may still function properly and do not need replacing, but they are still worn to some degree. For example, if a long block is rebuilt, maybe just the bearings and piston rings needed to be replaced. So the original crankshaft, pistons, and connecting rods were still in good shape and would be reused instead of using new ones. The final result usually saves the customer money up front, but it is not remanned and doesn't carry the same quality and warranty that CAT reman components provide. So how does the customer decide? Both are great cost-saving options for the customer, Zach, but some competitors try to frame their rebuild as remanufacturing, and that's just not true. We're not here to tell anyone which option to choose. That's individual to the condition of each component and the customer needs. Your local cat dealer can help you evaluate your equipment and determine the best repair option to meet your needs. We're here to make sure you understand that reman and rebuild are not the same thing. Remember, as the OEM, only Caterpillar can remanufacture your components, nobody else. That's great, Alan. I feel like you really put those shoes to good use and totally crushed this myth. If you have more questions about reman versus rebuilds for your components, contact your local dealership or visit cat.com slash reman.